After struggling in some immensely specific ways, we are ready for 1H Nexus HQ. Apparently, finally, we have three people instead of just one or two. Agent Sanford and Deimos will follow Hank into the heart of Project Nexus and eliminate all threats. The Nexus training program is still a mystery to us. Discover what you can and take no prisoners. That's never what it's been about. We've never once remotely considered taking prisoners as an option. We have stormed every gate we've ever come to with extreme violence and prejudice and just laid waste to everything. Strange that you think now would be the time to change to uh, diplomacy or <laughs> anything like that. No. Hank has no chill. San Deimos, maybe a bit of chill. But you know, when it comes right down to it, there are a couple of dirty old bastards as well. And they're, they're ready to, to do what it takes. This, I actually think that uh, the other two start with a better, better, like, initial weapon. Uh, Hank does have his katana, katana, which is pretty cool, actually. I do want to use that for a little bit. I actually think he has, like, an invincible katana. It doesn't look like it's taking any damage or anything. Please tell me I can throw it. All right, I at least have the option. Oh, it got all mixed up. It wasn't too hard to retrieve. Thought maybe it was gone forever for a minute. I think I went to normal difficulty without really thinking about it. But really, that's fine. If there's three of us and I don't have to deal... Well, inevitably, when I have to deal with, like, one more big boss character... Hopefully now I at least know what it takes to deal with them. And so I should hopefully be fine. I really... Really played a backseat role in that one. Access granted. Okay, I guess I probably had to go this way first. Usually there aren't too many branches and aren't very many dead ends. So it's not it's usually not too difficult to figure out where you need to go or what you need to do. Sometimes opening doors, though. That's where the real diff- Oh, I had to. <laughs> there was something blocking my way after all. Doors, though. Those can be the- Those are the real tricks. No one knows how to make do with those. This? What do I do? How do I get throws? You guys got any suggestions for me? <laughs> it's okay. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of all of us. Come along with me, babies. The three of us together. Me as your papa and you as the little bear cubs. We'll get through this crazy world just fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so over the top majority of the time and still so good ah the katana katana I, I, I'm not even gonna try and say it anymore the sword is cool <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna switch it up the guns are a little more reliable hmm although maybe the sword is necessary when it comes time for like a big boss again yeah, it might be unwise to ditch my main melee weapon. I can't rely on these AI goons to do anything useful. They're gonna chump around like the chumps that they are and and fail to actually do anything useful. This gun just melts faces. It's like a ripping guitar solo from Kyle Gas. It's, a, it's my backup katana. That one's not quite as nice, but you know, give it give it a little chance. Got to mix things up now and again. What about a regular sword? Just going with a nice straight one just to try it out? Yeah, it's nice. I could see the appeal. It's not for me, though. I'm a stick. I'm a stick with what, what I know. Hank is absolutely, absolutely the kind of guy who would name his sword. I'd be very curious to know what he would have named his. <laughs> I, I love killing enemies by throwing a gun. And it's something especially funny when it's like a, a gun that is capable of doing damage with bullets. Like a, a powerful gun. But you were like, nah, you're not good enough. You're not worth the bullet. I'm just going to throw this hunk of heavy metal at you. And surely that'll be enough. It just, there's like an insult to it, you know? I think that's why it sticks out to me as being extra funny. Funny in like a, you know, a very twisted way. But we've all moved past that at this point, right? 
Everyone forgives me of the insane shit that I say while I play games. The weird ways that I make myself sound like a, a cruel hearted maniac. Yeah, as long as everyone's on the same page here, I think we'll be just, just fine. With the three of us so far, this is really, oh, he ducked it. This has really been like a non-issue. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep picking things up and throwing them. That was uh, infinite possibility there. Can't run out of ammo when you're just throwing things. I guess you immediately run out. One ammo, one throw, that's really all you got. But it's just a matter of picking it back up again then, right? Mm, the exact moment I've been anticipating. Time to get right up in his shit and start ripping that stupid mask off. Oh, he knocked my damn... Okay, well, at least you guys managed to get through it still. But yeah, he really ripped that out of my hands very quickly. <laughs> There's a lot of guns on the floor. Not a lot that have ammo. Clear path. Oh, I managed to get my sword back. I'm just I'm just running around grabbing literally anything I can get my little mitts on. My little mitts. I guess they are kind of little grabbies, aren't they? The way they float around. If anyone's never gone on Reddit r slash lil lil l i l lil grabbies, well worth your time. <laughs> just animals with cute little little handses, like Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, that was an across the map throw kill. I killed the big guy with the throwing axe. It's so sick. All right, time to clear through this insane rubble. There we go. I knew there had to be a usable gun or two in there somewhere. I want the big gun. You put that down. Leave that for me. Why don't you? I'll enjoy it more. And if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna get the most out of it, then why bother? What a waste of a birthday present for you. All for Hank. <laughs> I wonder how often it's apparent that, like, a generous portion of the things that come out of my mouth are either a direct Simpsons quote or, like, a version of a Simpsons quote. Because <laughs> that makes me think of... Homer when he's like drinking the keg of beer all by himself and he starts going all for Homer all for Homer I tell you man so much of my brain was shaped by the Simpsons and Seinfeld <laughs> if that gives you a good indication of when I grew up I'm sure there's uh there's things that came from like cartoons things that were meant for kids but you know those those were the biggest ones for sure Oh, I like the extended magazine on this. You know what? Madness is the only game or series that has ever ma made me remotely curious in guns. I, like, hate guns. I do not give a shit about guns. They wig me out. I don't want to shoot a gun. I don't want to own a gun. Don't care. Don't see the point in them. They're, like, a terrible thing that humans have created. Not a fan. Call of Duty and shit. Play with your friends. They're all talking about the cool gun they unlocked, and I'm like, is it a shotgun? I don't know what the words you're saying are. I don't know what anything I'm picking up is called. <laughs> so I guess I don't know that much. But it makes me vaguely interested. And vaguely interested is well and beyond any anything else I've ever had to say about a gun. That's the most interest I could possibly show. <laughs> Punched him. Stole his gun, killed him with it. Moments like that. Well, maybe if I had a word for that gun, it would make the moment all the funnier, all the sweeter. Come on, guys. Get get out of here. Clearing, clearing the room, trying to clear some space. Somebody, what, did one of you not want to, like, walk into the room carrying something melee? There we go. Now we got a little dagger. Excuse me while I just try and hack my way through. Guys, they're getting in the way. That's not how excuse me works. It's being polite. Oh god. <laughs> this seems like it's getting out of hand. And I I have nothing. I picked up like the only stupid thing that doesn't have any damn ammo. Get out of the way, all of you. Holy god. Alright. 
Now someone give me damn melee weapon. No. It's I can't I can't find anything on the ground here. It's such a goddamn mess. That would be that that would be a good reason to have hung on to the uh, the the sword. I guess is for this precise moment. Deimos, buddy, Sanford, either of you, can you please get in there and start ripping this dude's mask off? I don't have the ability to. I'm trying to like pick things up and throw them out of the way to clear the rubble. It's not going well because there's too much shit going on. Oh, a dagger! Yes! Oh my goodness. That dagger was so valuable. Golden gun. <laughs> Heavy duty. Point blank as much as I can. That was stupid. Oh my god. That room was the worst. Give me... Now I need a gun again. Now I'm, I'm changing. Now I need actual usable weaponry. I'm losing track of where I've been. I'm hanging on to that stupid dinky knife. Odds are I'm gonna need it again. Oh! Things aren't going well in here. You guys are out here like breaking the, the dimension. <laughs> I don't even know what you got going on, but it seems like uh, mistakes were made perhaps. Oh god. Dodge, dodge, get out of there. Get a gun in your hands. No! They're making me drop everything. There we go. Back on track. I think I was switching weapons on accident. So that's that's a little bit on me. Oh! We lost our buddy! Dang. There's no way to revive him, hey? Holy shit! Okay, start just unloading. Full weaponry. Dodge! Gotta try and dodge the, the big guns. Oh no, I threw my gun at him! Ooh, I got like one shot. Oh, okay, okay, we're back. We're alive, we're alive, we're alive. I just gotta stop rolling so often. Pull out a gun, a usable gun. That's crucial to the, the plan I'm trying to put into place here. Oh god, it's all me. Hank's on his own here. That's, I gotta say, not very good. <laughs> those, those guys, I give them a hard time, but they're a little bit necessary. Far out. I'm trying to dodge his shit. Oh, no, they're not both dead. Thank goodness, one of them is alive. Uh, Deimos, I think. I've completely lost track at this point. Oh, no. You go through all that and die at the very end there? God damn. These levels start getting a little overwhelming and like, ah. Like it's, when you die in something like that, it's like, well, that took like 10 minutes, 15 minutes closer and I know I'm just going to have to do the exact same thing. It's going to be so repetitive. I'm just going to go through easy. Because now I kind of just want to get through it, unfortunately. A little bit of a sudden major attitude shift for me. Oh, if I could just have this gun the whole time. If I if I just had to repeat the level with this as, a, as a, a, an option. And just blast my way through. Give me the cheat codes for that. Because... Yeah, that's, uh, there's some satisfaction there. Now all of a sudden it starts bringing you back around and you're like, yeah, I'll replay the whole level. Don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> that is the main thing with easy is picking up weapons that have full ammo so you can just be like a, a total unstoppable Terminator <laughs> every time you <laughs> enter a new room. Yeah, I gotta say that, uh, that goes a long ways. Beware false gods. Paste it all over. I've lost track a little bit of which of the little po posters I have and haven't read. And that one seems new? Yes, please. Big gun, please. Here's something I never really considered. I don't know if the guns in this series are real. I kind of, because of the dedication to, like, giving them all unique sound effects like they're made quite distinct in design and sound it has always led me to believe that there's like a, a degree of a degree a hair like one degree <laughs> of realism there but i'm i'm realizing i don't know enough about guns to say otherwise 
I'm increasingly suspicious that the big guy at the end of the level here is not even gonna be like the end of the level. <laughs> the end of the level so far as I've seen. Because we, at some point we have to fight Tricky or the, oh God, the Arbiter. I know that's wrong. The uh, Adjudicator, the, oh, what the shit is his name? The guy who's like a ghost, <laughs> kind of. He's like a spirit. Oh, it's driving me nuts that I can't remember right now that I, I and I know I'm wrong. But you know, I, I have to think there has to be at least one boss fight in this game that's against a very specific character like that. The sword is kind of really fun to use. I think I'll just stand in the middle here, wait for things to come to me. Aw, oh, way to spoil the fun, you big dumb lug. All right, pardon me. I'm, I'm going to enjoy my break again back to my central location Just hang out here with my best pal and between the two of us. This is it. This is all the help we're planning to give little 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 bit of some bullets <laughs> From a distance it kind of helped a little bit briefly. All right. Don't mind me guys I'm just gonna put an end to this You guys tried it was cute. The effort was there, but you know, now and again, you just got to call in the big guns. I'm the big gun. I just happen to be holding a large weapon, but when you call in the big gun, what you're really saying is Hank. The weaponry in his hands is irrelevant. Oh yeah, that's looking good. In this section, I'm more hurt than I would have expected to be. The two buddies are like barely touched. But it's entirely the second you fight one of those big boss enemies, they do all the damage. Everything leading up to that is like a little bit of a joke on any difficulty, especially on easy. But yeah, it really becomes a very different ball game once you have one of those guys who's like 30 feet tall that you suddenly have to deal with. Which, speaking of, B4... Oh yeah, okay, that, I, I, I have one more of these to deal with first still even. I was thinking I was right at the big boss hog again. Nearly, nearly there. Alright, you can stop spawning in enemies for like a hot second. Because I need to be able to get up close here and do that. Ah! See, it comes off with like two hits and I have to think that's easy mode specific to make it that much easier to knock the actual helmet off. Let me just uh, golden gun my way through that a few more times. Watch out, everyone! <laughs> Clear the room. Yeah, I think that'll I think that'll do the trick. Outdoors? No, no, right? Yeah, we gotta we gotta go to the the totally broken <laughs> room where I don't quite know what's going on or why. Seems like a party though. These guys these guys know what they're doing. They know how to have a good time. No one else no one else does it quite like this room. Oh yeah, there's some there's some good good old big boys in here. I'll take this one. Looks the tiniest bit more exciting. Ah yes, the big danger ahead. That's uh that's a good indication that something bad's about to happen. Let's get the sword ready. Oh yeah, you don't even have to knock uh, a helmet off this guy, so I'll just start shooting people. That's my strategy. <laughs> the dodging is way, 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 way more than what this little section is all about. Whenever he starts honing in on on you like that, stupid little bass grunts. All right, I got the general timing of when those dodges need to happen. It's not okay. I, was, I wasn't paying close enough attention the second that I said I was like ready and and prepared for it. Ah, this will be a breeze. The toughest thing is when he's shooting at me when I'm trying to when I'm trying to find weapons to pick up. That's, I'm curious who built that big gun. Like I get, I get when, you know, people, you, you have to get like custom made shoes and things when you have really big feet, which I'm sure that's something else that big guy's gonna have to deal with. It makes, makes his whole life harder though. Guy can't even buy a normal size gun. Probably has to go for extra big shirts, extra big ties, extra big gas masks and shoes, all of it. What a difficult life, no wonder he's pissed off. 
the world has never given this guy a thing, except for uh, a complex where he's really concerned about his his appearance. Look at the big gun on the floor there. You can't can't even pick it up. That would be really hilarious. I would love if like, oh god, he's still alive. If at that point in the game, if like Sanford and Deimos were both still alive, if they would go and like retrieve the gun and like between the two of them start picking it up and shooting it, that'd be a, a incredible like final thing, an execution there. Mag Agent N is dead. F okay, with every building torched and every engineer murdered, hope for the project being rebuilt is destroyed. Their work here is done. However, the Nevada Corps is not entirely reliant on this facility. The road to the core awaits. Oh, so there is more game, or that's a setup for the sequel? No. There's a 1.5 to this game. Okay. This is interesting. At least three different missions to do in the 1.5 series? I'm guessing maybe this was, like, patched into the game after the base game had already existed for a while and was a success, and around the time they would have been trying to hype up the Kickstarter for Project Nexus 2. That's my guess. It's probably how that all fit together. Okay. I probably will play the rest of these, but I might not jump into it immediately. I might space it out a little bit, give some other series a chance here on the channel. But I probably will come back to this. If like I the if the episodes of this get like a, I don't know I'll make up a number a minimum of like a thousand views each, then yeah guarantee 100% I'll bump it up even higher in priority. I'll probably do it regardless. But the better these videos perform, the faster I'll get to it. That's kind of I guess the trade off I'm making there. And that's probably when we'll start fighting like the zombies and some of the actual series antagonists and things, including the. Ha! Ah, the guy who's like a shadow. Ooh. Damn it, I was hoping that in that exact moment something would click, fire off, something that failed, a connection that failed to be made before would suddenly present itself. No, I have no idea. Can't remember what that dumb bastard's name is. The Auditor. Uh, is that what I said? I said like Adjudicator and, and something else? Arbiter? I don't think I said Auditor. Damn it. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.